Okay, so now what we're gonna do, so we have this. And in my case, this, the puppet, the sock is long enough where you can almost use it as a puppet. But um, Vincent's is much, is a sm smaller sock and his is only a head. And either way is fine. What we're gonna do next is make a body for our puppet. And so I'm gonna make a suit for Larry the lawyer, the llama lawyer. And the first thing we have to do is if you can find a different sock or the same sock, Vincent's gonna use the same material so his body matches his head. I'm gonna make clothes so mine is not gonna match. I'm gonna use this black sock. And the first thing you wanna do is cut off the toe of your sock. Now you want a sock that will fit over your arm because that is where your hand's gonna go through this into this puppet. So now that we've got that, got it? Mm -hmm. If you want arms on your puppet, and who doesn't? You can turn the sock backwards and you can use a shoe, piece of shoelace and you can glue it onto the back for arms. Now you wanna use a shoelace that is corresponding color to your puppet or you know that matches your design. So this will actually go up over that just like that. And there you go. Now, um, you can also put like a scarf or a bow tie or something on that. Um, we're gonna do the arms. I'm gonna use this black uh, cord for my arms. You can use, you wanna use, try to use this, uh, these um, really mm -hmm. pipe cleaners for arms. And then you can look, they're movable enough. Yeah, I know, but this is more flexible. I mean, you can do anything, please. You sure can. All right, well, let's cut, I'll, we'll cut up this cord here. Okay because I don't need all of this. I mean, yeah. the arms aren't gonna be that long. So I figure the arms, you know, I'm just guessing here. Maybe because it has to go around the back, this is an eight inch ruler. I'm thinking six, six inches and six inches. So 12 inches total would give you... Six inches of hair movement. Yeah, but it's gonna give you less than that because this back part, which is the whole sock, the width of the sock or the width of your arm is like, that's three and a quarter inches there. So I'm gonna give it, I said 12, I'm gonna give it maybe 14 inches. Okay? Mm -hmm. cut, it. cut it here. And cut it here. And there's yours. Thank you. And here's mine. Now what you want to do is you want to try to find the middle, right? And then find the middle of your sock and exactly where these are going to go. You want to, where's the top of the sock? This is the top, right? Okay. So you want to go from the top down, from the toe where you cut off the toe down. You're probably going to want to put it right about, right about there. Probably... Um, yeah, and then you're going to hot glue it. Above the toe, above the heel, maybe about, I'm going to put it above the heel about two inches or an inch and a half. And I'm just going to put some hot glue down. And then I'm going to use my handy dandy tongue depressor or stir stick to press it down onto the glue while it dries here. I'm gonna do a handy dandy tongue depressor here. Does your tongue feel depressed? <laughs> yeah, it's 
it's sad. It's sad, uh huh? Okay. All right. And so now we have a puppet with arms. Now I'm going to do a little bit more to my costume here. I'm going to try to make this look like a suit jacket a little bit. And um, so I'm going to do that next. Then we're going to put hands on the puppet and I'll be right back with that. 